Good day guys, my name is Brian Rosal from Art Group Scanhead. Okay, this can be applied to your premiere um, 2015, 2016, whatever premiere you have there guys, as long as it has um, a mask effect, okay, that's good already. I think from 2014 to the latest version of the Adobe Premiere. Okay, let's start. So here is a sample output. Check it out. Okay, from the original clip into a painting subject just like that awesome okay let's go straight to our premiere and let's uh, open a new project there you go and then let's add a new sequence okay this example I use 30 FPS and then let's import our clip so okay I am in a coffee shop and I just simply uh, capture guys uh, plastic um, let's say set of flowers or okay something like that okay here it is I'm sorry it's upside down so I add my clip and I will uh, go to the effects and rotate to 180 sorry for that okay there you go so here is our clip. Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. That's right. So now we go to the um, okay the frame where the uh, it's you know the the frame where my hand is moving backwards because I don't want my fingers touching the flowers so that one no, move upwards there okay that's the perfect frame so I'm going to capture the frame and if you don't have the camera icon there on your preview just click the plus and then um, drag the camera that's how to capture the clip uh, I mean that's how to record or uh, capture a JPEG from your clip and then save that and you go to your Adobe Photoshop so that's the picture see that okay now let's move on to Photoshop let's open it here don't forget to duplicate the layer so I duplicate the layer because I want only the uh, the bouquet okay it's changed to the painting result and not the entire clip so then you go to the uh, um, adjustment first, add saturation. I'm going to saturate, over saturate the, uh, the the subject to make it, you know, vibrant, just like that. Okay, don't worry with the uh, the other parts of the picture, guys. We're going to remove that later on. So next, after that, we go to the okay, um, sh uh, sharpen. Going to sharpen it. There. Done. And then after that, we go to the oil paint. Yeah, there you have it. The oil paint. Now, I'm going to give this part to you guys. So just play around uh, with the settings, guys. And if you think it looks realistic, then that would be the one. If not, then just keep adjusting. So I'm just playing around here. By the way, you may not use the oil paint. There are many effects that you can use in your Adobe Photoshop instead of applying the oil effect. So this technique that I'm doing right now can be applied okay, to all effects that you know once you're done. Okay, let's click OK. That's my final output. Next, okay, so you can see the difference, guys, from the original clip to the uh, oil paint uh, clip. Okay, the next step is we're going to um, select the uh, bouquet. Okay, so that the uh, you know um, the background. Okay, can be removed. So here I'm selecting it using the um, 
okay whatever tool you like okay if you don't like this tool that I'm using right now you can um, select the, uh, the other tools available in your Adobe Photoshop okay so let's select 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 slowly 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 okay so assuming you're done we are going to erase that's right so you're going to remove uh, the outer part of your subject so that the original clip the background of the original clip would appear okay so just like that so erase use the eraser eraser tool okay use the eraser tool to remove the uh, the other part of your clip okay okay so to remove the other part of the clip and now you can see the, uh, the background and then your okay oil canvas okay now you can see guys the background it's not revealing okay and your um, modified okay okay so after that we go to the to you save that save your JPEG And then you go to your premiere so in your premiere find a frame where your hand is moving backwards okay find that uh, I forgot guys I should have put a marking on that you import that and then that frame that's where you're going to insert the JPEG the one that you just made on your Adobe Photoshop okay and then that's where you start adding your masking effect so let's go to the uh, opacity here you can find uh, the ellipse to the square and that one there okay I don't know. I don't know if it's a pencil or a pen a pen tool okay so from here we're going to uh, use the pen tool here and then go to select I selected the entire um, okay, just like what we did, guys, in our Photoshop. there you can now apply the effect it's animated okay so from this part here okay now it's changing see that okay so let's try to animate okay let's go to uh, color key let's add an effect color key okay Next, ok, 
Okay, so in our color key, we set the uh, um, color. Okay. Tolerance to 255 and we set to animate that part. Okay, so from 255 going back to zero somewhere here. Okay. Then I want to put it back to 255 again before I end this journal. Okay, then let's re render it and check the result. Oh, yeah, very awesome. Hope you learned something from this um, tutorial, guys. and. I hope this can be applied to whatever video that you are making and I'm very much sure guys that this will add beauty on your work. This is Brian Russell from Art Works Canada. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe on my YouTube channel. More videos will come soon. Okay, thank you very much for watching again.